What's up everybody? Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel only if you want to. But look, man, we got this 10 celebrities with terrible plastic surgeries. Yo, so this video's been doing pretty good lately, and y'all been wanting to see them. So now I'm gonna drop y'all another one. So let's just get straight into the video after y'all purchase y'all merch on my Instagram account. You feel me? Go to my Instagram. The link is there to get the OG hoodies. They're not gonna be there for, for long, but let's get into this video already, though, people. Let's get it. I wonder what celebrities they gonna have on here. Yeah. I already have some in mind that should make the list. And under the scrutiny of public opinion. In 1999, Mickey's plastic surgeon also said that his client needed surgery to fix callus formations in Rourke's cheekbones caused by years of boxing. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities with the worst plastic surgery. Every year they're falling a little bit more, and that's why it's getting more time sensitive and severe to take them out sooner. For this list, we're excluding celebrities that improved their look with surgery, a la Renee Zellweger. And we're also excluding individuals like Jocelyn Wildenstein that are famous only for their devastating procedures. She's famous for all this plastic surgery. Hey, ain't never gonna get old. Woman. Number 10, Meg Ryan. I don't know what your mother could possibly have against you. I remember her. We're making it, that's what. She's got some weird idea. I should save myself for an astronaut or something. I remember Once her. the sweet darling of 80s and 90s rom-coms, Meg Ryan's appearance was given an overhaul sometime during the 2000s mainly by puffing up her famously firm lips. Given the fact that Meg Ryan hasn't exactly been landing the most oh. cool of roles these days, it begs the question, why would she make herself look like one of the real housewives? If you don't like oh. being interviewed, you can see it's in the way that you, you sit, in the way you are. Unless you don't True. like that. She's an American sweetheart of cinema. But as we all know, Hollywood and fame can take a toll on stars. I know she did that so to her face. Amanda Bynes walking into a liquor store to wash gasoline off her dog. Perhaps Meg is content with her new look, but she forever changed that natural physical grace that we all came to love. Yes, 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 yes. Number nine, Lara Flynn Boyle. <laughs> She made her film debut in 1988's Poltergeist 3, and soon okay. after, starred in David Lynch's Twin Peaks. But it was on ABC's The Practice, where Lara Flynn Boyle became a household name. When she's I just good, want to see what she looked like! She's good. When she's bad... She's bad. She's a murderer. Oh. However, it's no stretch to say I, that she's... Whatever, I messed it up. I ain't know. ...become straight up unrecognizable after all the work that's been put into her face. Oh my God. You're a very beautiful, beautiful woman. In these photos, there's just, there's something off. As with Meg Ryan, Lara's gone with a real housewife look that robs her of the uniqueness that made her a standout. Only the worst photos seem to float around the internet, oh my God. but it's proof as to how subpar plastic surgery can make a star totally oh unrecognizable. My. I really want to learn how to be an underwear model. They told me I've got real potential. Number eight, Tara Reid. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't flow that far. First arriving at fame through roles such as Bunny Lebowski in the Coen Brothers cult classic and Vicki Latham in American Pie, Tara Reid seemed to be going places in the late 90s. Yeah, look at her. Everything's perfect. And you can't I remember this. plan everything. Then along came her plastic surgeon, the big botched job ski. It all began with the infamous nip slip, which revealed a tiny bit of work on Tara Reid's breasts. And she's actually been on the record about her quest to level out her lopsided tatas. But then a tummy liposuction fail was followed by a donut mastopexy to try and control oh. Z the situations. See, that's my thing, bro. Y'all got too much money to be out here fucking y'all bodies up like this. Y'all got way too much money. You couldn't get the... If you was gonna get it done, you couldn't get the best... Still, the cosmetic cock-ups haven't phased the good people behind the Sharknado series one bit. They didn't let somebody cousin Mookie operate on them or something. <laughs> Number seven, Mickey Rourke. No, sometime took my Come on, bro. Come on, Mickey. California. Really? It's a good picture, man. When you're the preeminent bad boy of 80s cinema, just ride it out, man. Even then, it only took one look at Mickey Rourke to know that he hadn't exactly been left in his original oh, packaging. Look at his like face, bro. Cheek implants and a chin implant, 
and it looks like he had some reconstructive wow. surgery on his nose. A former boxer, it was never hard to accept Rourke as a tough guy. Yeah. But surviving the biz has seemingly led him to believe he's still that young tough guy, even if nature and the calendar say otherwise. Randy, you almost died. Next time you might not be so lucky. To that end, Rourke has chased an endless array of bizarre styles Damn. and a butt-ton of Botox in recent years. He may look haggard, but rugged, not so much. Who were you besides an angel of mercy giving a two-time loser like me the night of his life? Well, that sure as hell wasn't my looks. Number six, Courtney Cox. He finally asked you out? Yes! Oh, this is a dear diary moment. With all due respect... That's crazy. A lot of these people that we've seen coming up with, though are like absolutely not the same people like visually to like, zero that's mind blowing bro One could make the argument that monica geller was the sexiest of the female friends i've watched home movies of you eating ding dongs without taking the tin foil off <laughs> you said that was sexy courtney cox has managed to put together quite the impressive tv resume with her leading role on cougar town but it seems that she's taken a real life liking to the cougar look oh, look at her she always has that expression. She's got resting bitch face. Blessed with gorgeous blue eyes, Cox's Botox and surgery now distracts from her natural pearls, while conveying more of a socialite facade rather than distinguished grace. She's got a new set of friends. They're just all cosmetic surgeons. Don't joke with me, okay? I'm very, very upset right now. Number five, Lil' Kim. Ah oh, man. I knew it was gonna get to Lil' Kim eventually. Oh man. That's crazy. She used to roll with the Notorious B.I.G. And she provided an iconic MTV Music Video Award moment with the Notorious T.I.T. Tonight, I just thought that I'd do something that just say, look at her. But unfortunately, this MC has become more known for her surgical raps than her rhyming ones. Once a fresh-faced star with a gorgeous natural presence, Lil' Kim has juiced up her lips and face. I don't making get her it. completely unrecognizable to even her own fan base. Do you want to talk about Little Kim? And that face of hers? Ooh, she talking that shit! Of course, it's not easy to stay relevant mm. when the likes of Nicki Minaj come along. But Kim has seemingly fallen victim to the idea that perceived like, flaws can be fixed I don't get with loads it. and loads of facial sculpting. I don't get okay, it. Whatever. You know what I mean? Number four. Kim oh, Lil' Kim was bad, bro. It was, that's that's one thing that get me. She was a... Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm, I'm yawning. Oh, man. She was a bad mofo. That was a bad mofo. Carrot top. I'm not gonna believe this, but Still I'm a good person, but damn. You know what I'm saying? It's shocking just thinking about it, but Carrot Top does qualify as a celebrity. He's always been an easy target for jokes given his shtick and mop like red hair. But frankly speaking, the obvious plastic surgery doesn't quite help either. Uh oh. In a bigger mug. Born Scott Thompson, Carrot Top managed to secure a starring role in the 1998 film Chairman of the Board and has since become a recognized name in the industry thanks to his prop routine and, <laughs> let's face it, that mop-like red hair. This is great. I made chopsticks so you look cool from a distance in a restaurant. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's funnier from behind, like, oh my god, that... However, it seems that clownish act has gone a little too far when you look at old Carrot Top and the slightly revised facade of today. And then the other night, when I was having a bad show, I said, God, I wish my name wasn't on the f***ing carpet. Number three, Angelica Houston. I want to say hello to my father. He called me a whore. Building on the legacy of her father John and granddad Walter, Angelica Houston earned an Academy Award for her performance in Pritzi's Honor and later stunned audiences with her sultry representation of Morticia Adams in yeah. 1991's The Adams, Adams Family. Family. Hell Don't yeah. Torture yourself, go I didn't even know. I didn't even know she played that, but when I seen that picture, I knew what that was, though. That's how much she played her. That's crazy. That's my job. But time has more than slightly altered the visual vibe of Angelica Houston. Given that she sold her home for a cool $11 million in 2011, one wonders if she didn't invest in some facial reconstruction with the profits. It's her money to spend, but still, don't be too surprised if Angelica shows up in another Wes Anderson flick. 
I don't know. I don't know though, man. She ain't look. She just look like age is catching up, and she not like taking care of herself like she should. That's all that look like to me. We'll stop feeling sorry for ourselves. It's not very attractive. See, we'll make our plans for the future. Can we agree to that? Number two, Donatella Versace. Nah, this motherfucker right here. This crazy. <laughs> Of the late Gianni Versace, this Italian fashion icon, hell no, family matters in the late 90s while taking on a new and improved design of her own. Bro, I'm telling you, she's like an albino gecko. That is crazy. As time progressed, the raw Calabrian beauty of Donatella Versace, has go ahead, keep getting that stuff done to you. Screams out too much money. Only someone with a huge bank account would keep trying out new surgery procedures. As if How, new people? How? Donna, tell us some slack, though, because after the original flub, you might as well double down. Before we unveil our. Bro, you can't get none of that stuff reversed? Like, they can't suck that stuff up out of your face and make you look like you used to? That's crazy, bro. I guess it ain't no going back. I don't know. Number one pick. Here are some honorable mentions. It was, it was all for the sake of what I thought was looking better. I mean, you were a beautiful man. You were lauded. Why did you want to change it? I just wanted to change it. Bro, it's crazy that that voice came out. Wow. Yeah. That's Number crazy. one, Michael Jackson. Y'all ain't gonna do this shit to Michael Jackson today. Y'all not gonna do this to Michael today, man. Come on, bro. The king of pop actually lived a good portion of his life with his natural-born look. However, by the early 80s, his insecurities, public opinion, and industry racism played a major factor in Michael Jackson's evolving and shocking look. Regardless of what you believe about Jackson the person, it's obvious that more was going on than just some skin treatment. Yeah. As MJ's nose dwindled away until yeah. there was literally nothing left. Well, number one thing that we all see is that he's got multiple rhinoplasty procedures and has ended up with a much skeletonized nose. As the most yeah. famous case of a filthy rich individual desperately trying to be comfortable in his or her own skin. Michael Jackson. What the hell is happening? Which celebrity do you think is the worst <laughs> plastic surgeon? That one. That, stuff made me feel that like one. Or the gecko. I feel like I was... For more mind blowing top tens, look, man, look, 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 look. y'all let me know what y'all think was the worst one right there. I feel like, basically, I feel like, yo, all right, we already know the Michael Jackson situation. All right, cool. He's arguably, yes, deserved to be at number one. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, uh, I see y'all in the next video. Like I say, man, spread love because it's too much hate in this world. I love you guys. This is just for entertainment purposes only. And if you ain't got your merch, y'all go ahead and get that already, like I just said. But I'll see you in the next video. Love y'all. I'm out.